What's up guys? Happy Friday. Today, Brittany is going to change the oil on the 240 by herself. You think you can do it? Yes, I can. <laughs> Alright. I did help her out. Uh, SR is going to be a little harder. I did get a Wix HP filter. Um, I think it ended up like 8 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Um, so... All right, let's go ahead and start. Britt, what's the first thing you're going to do? Let's see here. Hmm. I Lift the car up. Yeah. Car's up. Now what? You gotta get the oil pan. Where is it at? Right here. Okay, slide under there. And tell me what size you think it is. What do you mean what size? The nut for the uh, oil pan. Do um, you know where it is? Where do you think the oil pan is? Right here. Where's the drain plug for that? Looks like a bolt. Touch that oil pan again. You were just touching. Yeah, right here. Right there. What size do you think that is? Hmm. Ten. Definitely not a ten. Try oh. again. I have no idea. Yeah. All right, I'll help you here. It's a 14. Oh. All right, <laughs> let's get a 14. <laughs> All right, now Snap-on makes it easy for you. I'm only telling you because I don't want to ruin my pan. Turn it to off. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'll slide under there. Don't get any oil on my floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're spinning the wrong <laughs> way, Jim. What the fuck? Righty tiny lefty loosey. How am I spinning it the wrong way? Isn't that the right way? No, oh, keep trying. It goes tight either way. No, no it doesn't. Alright, here it comes. Oh shit. <laughs> 
Alright, now slide the pan back a little bit so you don't leak on the floor. There you go, just like that. Alright, now we can get up. Right here. Whew, it smells like that fuel scent. You know what you're doing? Can't be that hard. Alright. Is it leaking on my floor? Good. What kind of pose is that? <laughs> all right, Britt. Oil is drained all the way. Now what? Now you take off the filter. True. What I would do is pull the pan out slowly. Don't spill. Then put the bolt back in, okay. so you don't need to get underneath anymore. And then put the oil right, or the filter right in the pan. Fuck me. Oops. Apologize for cursing. Not so family friendly, she's not. Get it? No. Still no? I'm going to check if it's cross right. Hold on. Alright. Go ahead and tighten that one up. Did you change the ratchet? To on? Oops. Hey guys, look what I just noticed I left on there. Bye guys. Let's snug it a little more. Yep, that's good. Okay, now I'll slide the pan out really gently so you don't get a wave of oil. Is mommy doing a good job? Ah. Watch out. All right, now what? What? 
Daddy turned it. Now what are you going to do? Okay. Yep, should only be hand tight. Shouldn't need any tools. Smart. I think Kara got pizza grease all over the lens. Okay, just go ahead and put it in the... Alright, now go ahead and open the new wicks. Nope, 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 hold on. Uh, what you're going to want to do is dip your finger in that oil. Okay. And go around that rubber ring. Just a really light coat. Perfect. Now this is kind of tricky to get on. See that hard line back there? Yeah. You're going to want to push that one back with your thumb. That one, yep. And then tighten it on there. There you go. Okay, now what? Now we put the oil in. Yeah, yeah. Where does it go? Right here. Alright guys, now the oil I have and the oil I've always used is an oil, um, someone that I've been working with for a long time, I've been working with for about seven years with multiple different things, um, and they've been really good to me, they've been really good to uh, Misguided Garage and the Drift Team, and it's, it's fantastic oil, I've got a lot of friends that use it for uh, drift cars, dirt track cars, circle track, figure eight, drag race, everything is... Schaefer's, it's fantastic oil. I use 1030 Supreme Race Oil. I got a few cases and, you know, it works fantastic. So, all right, Britt. Go ahead and grab six quarts, or five quarts of oil, sorry. Five. Ooh, using a filter? A what? A uh, funnel? Yeah, a funnel. No Jimmy Oaks! No funnel, gang! Sorry, Jimmy! I would use that yellow one, if you're going to use one. Push it in there real tight, yep. There you go. Alright, now that makes five. Now what?
Well, what I do first is, before we put it down, check underneath see if there's any still leaves. Dripping anywhere? Looks like a little bit. It's leaking? There is a little bit. Is that where we spilled? Or is that... I think that's where we spilled. So what I would do is get a rag, get out there and wipe that up. And we'll put her down and start her up. All right, first I would check the oil level with the dipstick. Smart. I'd wipe it clear and then shove it back in there. Wipe it clean. Looks good. Okay. Give her a start up and then look around and check for leaks. Watch Kyra freak out a little bit. Check the oil again. No, nope. I don't see Okay, now check the oil level. Good. Looks good. All right, put her back in there. All right, Britt. So, what? How would you rate that difficulty? Ten being super hard and one being easy. I would say 
say four. A four? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let us know what you think of how Britt did with the oil change on the 240. Huge shout out to uh, Schaefer's Oil. Um, you know those guys; they have fantastic oil. If you guys are looking for some deals on oil, uh, let us know, and we can get you hooked up. Uh, see you guys on Monday. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Keep on sliding.